Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you. And yes, I'm starting off with a little graphic here. You can see this is the Ethereum Layer 2 ecosystem from August. Now, it is already at 162 projects deep. And just to take a look, it's all broken down into different sections. But all of this is basically secured by the Ethereum network. Now, if you look at this project and see how the graphics and they're laid out, you can see which ones cross borders and which ones have multiple ways to interact with Ethereum. Not many, but there's one. And I feel like this one is an absolute game changer. And if you can understand why the name of this title is called the name of the title of the, the video about loopering, I believe this is one of the reasons that I feel that this is going to be going parabolic, not just for Ethereum and for a few other of the projects and protocols, but mostly for loopering. Inside here, we have 162 projects. They're shaping the future of scaling, NFTs, gaming, privacy, lending, derivatives, exchanges, bridges, and dozens of other cases. It's important to understand here. Now, if you look carefully, and the reason I'm talking about this is because loop ring is on several of these. Infrastructure, swaps, exchanges, payments, transfers, wallets, yield, and farming. And today, the confirmation of NFT and minting. Yes, loop ring now supports and is talking about... NFT casting, trading, and transfer operations. This is huge. Now, if you take a look at this here, this is a quick, nice little loop ring Zia contract. You can see what is going on here between the example from Minter Alice and what she's doing here on the little mapper layer one or layer two. So this talks about loop ring as another second layer to implement the, the ZK rollup solution. And this is a new wave of growth due to its now support for NFT casting, trading, and transfer functions. Again, you're in the early stages here. We're back to the early stages of development of protocols. And things are going to be added on just like Legos. One stacked another upon the other. Now, and according to an article written by uh, the Loopring founder, Daniel Wong, any NFT minted on Loopring ZK Roller Layer 2 network can be extracted to the Ethereum mainnet and vice versa. Basically back and forth. This is important because there are a lot of other projects now through Arboretum, Optimism, ZK Sync, Loopring, and Starkware. They all make considerable progress, right? But to me, they are awakening the code. And to me, this is again like a sleeping giant awakening up all of this code that's coming up here. And the people that are seeing this and partaking in this early on understand the progress that is being made um, that people didn't expect for a few more years, but it's actually been happening a lot faster and faster, a lot right now. Now, summer six months away. Christmas is only two months away, but I don't know. Time will tell, and basically we know that Luke Ring is also exploring additional partnerships to expand the whole ecosystem, and this is important. The next goodie going down here. Luke Ring is also working on a general purpose ZK EVM. What is a ZK EVM, and why is this such a big deal? Well, the ZK EVM is a virtual machine that executes smart contracts in a new way that is compatible with zero knowledge proof computation. All right. It's basically key to building an EVM compatible ZK rollup. This allow any smart contract, you can swap and maker, to be on board the looping network level two and to scale with amazing TPS without sacrificing security. This is important. Remember, trades per second. Remember, Visa is about 1700 TPS and loop ring is averaging, and what they're saying is about 2,000 for a minimum. This is important. Now, another solution and project that's being done by the Ethereum Foundation, would you believe that, in fact, loop ring is also participating in the project called ZK AVM? Now, this is important. Now, because this is I, this whole idea is directly to compile a called, something called the Solidarity Code. Now, the Solidarity is a statistically typed programming language that is basically designed for developing smart contracts that run on the Ethereum virtual machine. EVM, which is also, that's what it is, the electric virtual machine, which is the EVM. Now, they're going to be compiling this into bytecode of the EVM without any translation and directly execute the bytecode onto the virtual environment of the ZK EVM. Now, if you're a programming developer, this is kind of big. Why? Because... This resembles a huge turning point for crypto, all right? And because of going forward in crypto, you need big jumps in the technology, big jumps in the protocol. Because until recently, last year, this was considered mathematically, theoretically, possibility, small fraction of it. It would take years for this to really happen in real life. But over last year, in the pace of the entire of, entirety of the zero-proof knowledge ecosystem, this has exceeded even experts' expectations. 
All right, this is huge because of many of the R&D breakthroughs. And again, hands up to all the developers, programmers, and just people who are thinking this can be done. Hands up and applause to you because you're helping taking this and projecting this so far forward, which is pretty freaking critical, right? Now, you got to think about all of this is happening on the layer two market, right? Now, this is also massive because Polygon is also currently dominant on layer two. And there are other competitors that are basically looking to capture a huge broader market of the, all these roll-ups. But again, the, based upon the fundamentals of Looprings approach right now, I believe, and I think a lot of others, they are so far ahead of the game. Now, this is my opinion, right? Now, going along with the Ethereum Foundation, ZK, ZK EVM, the NFT minting, there are a lot of other things on here. All right? No, a lot of other things. Now, the thing is the fees on roll-ups, yes, it's, it's all of this is coming down here. And uh, another little announcement, I want you to think about this, because the lower fees is important, but also with more usage, what we're seeing now with more people on network, gas prices go up with lower fees also means more usage it's going to just stay the same so all these all this means the project that gains right now if you think about all the projects are out there 162 projects all the project that gains market dominance doesn't necessarily mean to mean that they're most technically most advanced right away that's not important all right they think of any new technology startup doesn't matter what tech you're involved in you're not gonna be 100 there as long as you get good market dominance that's what you need because the masses of people will give them time to improve. And that's important. It doesn't matter what project you're on. If you remember Apple phone, there are always little problems with this. That's why there's a version two, version three, Apple now, Apple iPhone 13. You need time to improve and you get the massive thing going along here. So I feel right now Loopring is in this prime position with these upcoming announcements and they just keep coming out slowly, very slowly, very quietly. That's, that's not the goodie. But oh, there's one more goodie. Feels like this video is giving more announcements that keep giving and giving. Well, it is. Loopring does have some links for the Bank of China. You probably are familiar with this. If you've been through the blog, you know the founder. They've been working with China in the Bank of China. This is important because they also do have a patent about to use a roll-ups. Good. More people aware of this. Well, the Bank of China, Loopring protocol, huge. Covert, secretive, I'm sure. But it's just another little thing. So to the news, there's more to come, but I want you all to think right now about this time frame you and I are in right now, because we're all in this new era of technology. And if you think about the whole stage right now, if you looked at that map right here, there are 162 projects here. A lot of them will not be here in the future. A lot of them fail, get bought out, they'll merge. But again, it reminds me of two people working in a garage together. Same time free, time period, but again, we're 30 years ahead. Apple. Just an idea. Could be Google, could be another time. But this is, again, the early stages of a huge, huge new era coming. Now, remember, this is just starting, but who knows where we go. But I'm just glad to be partaking in this incredible, incredible time period right now. And for me, I'm just psyched. And uh, the more news I hear about this, to me, this is more exciting than hearing news about the stock market, hearing more news about the developments and this, the, how things are going, leapfrogging, leapfrogging, and People working together to really get to a great point for cryptocurrencies. I'm excited all the time. Loopring, you're doing a great job. And uh, guys, game on.